So huge news coming out of Baltimore just now And I like how the Ravens They didn't just sit around and wait for this one uh, They knew Mike McDonald was going to leave We all knew Mike McDonald was going to leave From the amazing job that he did As Baltimore Ravens coordinator But the Baltimore Ravens like Alright cool Mike McDonald is gone There was a possibility and there was talk That Zach Orr could be following him As defensive coordinator But Ravens said hold up there buddy And they are officially Hiring Zach Orr, their own former linebacker who used to play for them, as their new defensive coordinator. And I like it. I like it. Ravens, you're not slick. I know Ravens knew this yesterday, but they were like, you know what? Let's wait to the first day of Black History Month to hire Zach Orr. But anyway, uh, let, let's read some quotes from... <laughs> let's read some quotes from John Harbaugh, what he had to say about Zach Orr. Um, Harbaugh said, uh, Zach is a homegrown Raven in every way. And that is true. He is literally homegrown. But he said his energy, intelligence, work ethic, and strong communication skills have been on display since the day he joined our organization as a player in 2014. From making our team as an undrafted rookie to becoming an all-pro linebacker, then later transitioning to an assistant coach who helped mentor multiple Pro Bowl defenders, Zach has excelled at every level of his football journey. So this is nice. This is nice. Like I said, I, I really do like it uh, because of a few different reasons. We're going to get into those very, very shortly. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on because as you can tell, it's been a lot going on with the Baltimore Ravens every single day. Tomorrow's a huge day. They got the uh, end of the year press conference. We wish it would not be happening yet, but it is what it is. We here, so got to hear it. So anyway, um, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single video, not a single update, not a single thing. And also leave a like on the video because it goes a long, long, long way, which y'all have been doing, so I appreciate. Now, uh, back with uh, Zach Orr becoming the Baltimore Ravens' new defensive coordinator. One of the reasons that I really like it, because I know I've had a lot of conversations with different people, and they talked about the possibility of, oh, what if we brought in a Bill Belichick, the former Patriots coach? What if we brought in a Mike Vrabel uh, uh, as the defensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens, a former Titans coach? What if we brought in one of those guys? And I was like, well, that would be cool, but I do like, the, and not to say that those guys couldn't do it, but I, I do would like if they hired somebody from within because I don't want to fix something that's not broken. I wouldn't want the Baltimore Ravens to start all the way over, start bringing a brand new scheme, a brand new this, a brand new that, when the defense has been doing just fine as is. And with Zachary Orr, he could bring in some new stuff here and there, but I would expect it, especially since he's been here for a while. He's been here for when did they first bring him on as, a, as an assistant coach? It was a long time ago, but he's been here for a while. So he knows how things go. He knows how players operate and whatnot. He knows how coaches operate. He got good relationships with a lot of different people throughout the entire building. So with Zach Orr, it's one of those things where I feel like if it ain't broke, he knows it's not broke, so he ain't going to try to fix it too much. So I, I do have a, a nice amount of confidence in Zach Orr to come in here and get the job done. And another thing, too, um, Jeff Zrebeck talked about how Zach Orr already got a good relationship with like Roquan Smith and stuff. He was the inside linebackers coach for the Baltimore Ravens. Mike McDonald, he unlocked Kyle Hamilton like crazy. I could see Zach Orr unlocking Trenton Simpson. That's somebody who I'm going to have my eye on big time uh, this offseason and then throughout this season. We, we got a snippet. We, we got a nice snippet of Trenton Simpson uh, in the Week 18 game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that man was flying all over the field. I had a lot of questions about Trenton Simpson going into this season and what his role was going to be, and he didn't really have a role this season. He was on special teams. Uh, he was not on defense like hardly at all. You would seldom see that number 30. But he was on special teams when he was on the kickoff and whatnot, sometimes on punt, but he wasn't really on the field besides that. And, and that's okay because when you're behind a Roquan Smith, you're behind a Patrick Quinn, it's going to be hard to find a role for you on the squad. Um, but in that game, that Week 18 game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, it was like, oh, okay, oh, this is why the Baltimore Ravens drafted. Oh, this is what they see in Trenton. Oh, oh, this is why they like him so much. Oh, okay, I get it. And now with Patrick Queen expected to leave, nothing's official yet, but he ain't going to be back.
But with Patrick Queen expected to leave, I would expect Zach Orr to really unlock Trenton Simpson. Um, and now, but he he don't doesn't just unlock Trent Simpson. He takes control of the entire defense. So while he could unlock Trent Simpson, he still got to continue uh, to let Kyle Hamilton be Kyle Hamilton. And he's Zach Orr is definitely stepping in some big shoes. He got some big shoes to fill. Mike McDonald, um, who had also been with the Ravens for a really long time, because again, he was just the defensive coordinator for these past two years. But three years ago. He well four years ago he was with the Baltimore Ravens even before that I believe he was a when Wink was the defensive coordinator I believe Mike McDonald was the linebacker coach I want to say I'm not one thousand I don't remember one thousand percent but anyway he had been with the Ravens for a, a while too even before that so Mike McDonald he'd been in the building for a long time too but with Zach or um it is exciting. It is exciting because we didn't know the direction that the Baltimore Ravens were going to go. I mean, we figured Jeff Zrebeck had put us on. He, was, he kept saying that Zach Orr was the favorite to land the defensive coordinator position. Uh, so we figured, okay, well, maybe it might go to him. But then at the same time, especially as Ravens fans, especially with everything that we've been through this past week, Jeff Zrebeck did say that Zach Orr was the favorite, but there was still that possibility that Mike McDonald could take him. Because Jeff Zrebeck also talked about how Mike McDonald wanted to take Zach Orr. Like, Zach Orr was a favorite for both the Baltimore Ravens and for Mike McDonald with the Seahawks to be a defensive coordinator. But the Baltimore Ravens, they, 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 they made the move. And uh, we'll see how the rest of Mike McDonald's staff uh, is assembled. But this is, um, this is cool news, man. And I, and I think this is good news. This is probably, in my opinion, uh, one of the best moves that you can make at the defensive coordinator position, keeping it in-house, keeping it – with somebody who has been here through everything, through all the changes that the Baltimore Ravens went through over the past couple of years, uh, somebody with literal experience on the field. That helps a lot. That helps the eye a lot. He, he has an eye for what these linebackers need to be looking for, what they should be seeing, and just really the defense as a whole. He's been there. He's been watching. He's been a part of it. So now, it, it, and it's nice. And this is kind of personal, too. It's, it's nice when, because um, a lot of times we don't get opportunity. A lot of times um, we can feel like we, we have all the skills in the world. We, we got all the requirements. We know how to do the job, and we feel like we can excel at it, but we just don't get the opportunity. And that could be a, a big blow. I, I have experienced that a lot, a whole lot, um, especially when working regular jobs and, and even a lot of times with YouTube too. It's happened where you just you just feel like you you feel like you can do a certain thing, but other people, whether it's credentials, whether it's uh degrees, whether it's experience whatever it may be, other people will look at no nah, I don't I don't think they can do that. Oh yeah, you're not qualified to do that. All the meanwhile you like I I know I can. I know I can do it. And when you actually get an opportunity to do something, it's, it's, it's game changing, man. It, it is one of the best feelings in the world. So I'm super happy for Zach Orr, man. I'm super happy how he worked his way up. Um, and now he's a defensive coordinator. And it's, it's only up from here because, as you said, with defensive coordinators, especially with the Baltimore Ravens over the years, with defensive coordinators, a lot of them go on to end up being head coaches. Now, offensive coordinators, a little, a little different, but defensive coordinators, they, they go on to do uh, bigger and better things. Now, um, speaking of doing bigger and better things, um, Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews, uh, we know that there's been a lot of times when Lamar Jackson would just throw it up in his area. And Mark Andrews would jump up in the sky and come down with it, and he will save the day. Uh, but Mark Andrews, he actually saved more than a day. Uh, I guess it was today uh, because he actually saved a life. And let's read the report, the story that came from Andrew Springs. He said, uh, a woman on my Southwest flight from Baltimore to Phoenix this morning had a mid-flight medical emergency. The doctor and nurse attending to her couldn't find a strong pulse. Her blood pressure was extremely low and required oxygen to breathe. It was genuinely scary. Uh, a man in the aisle seat popped up. Could it be her blood sugar? I have a diabetic testing kit. It was Ravens tight end Mark Andrews. 
Andrews instructed the medical professionals, equal citizen heroes in the story, on using his test kit. Eventually, her heart rate stabilized. Paramedics met the flight as soon as we landed. Andrews deplaned quietly, no fanfare, as he has done his whole career. He stepped up in a huge moment when people needed him most. Watching complete strangers spring into action to help, some, help save someone's life is truly amazing. So shout out to Mark Andrews for stepping in and stepping up in a clutch moment. Well, um, cause obviously that that story right there is a way deeper than football. We talk about Mark Andrews as a football player all the time, uh, but he is somebody that's in a unique situation, of course, with his diabetes, and that's something that's been highlighted. I really throughout his career, the fact that he's playing with diabetes, sometimes he'll need to test his blood sugar on the sideline. He may need a little snack sometimes on the sideline and whatnot. But um, Mark Andrews, him doing that, it's just a great example of people being great people, and that's what it's all about. And that's super, super, it's not, I, I can say it's simple, but at the same time, what he did, that's not simple, but it, it doesn't take much to be nice. Well, sometimes, because sometimes people will try you, they try you and they'll test your patience and oh boy, they really be trying it, but it, it doesn't, a lot of times, it doesn't take much to be nice. So be nice. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for everything that you do. And a big, huge congratulations to Zach Orr. Welcome to officially you get in that opportunity.